Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Taylor and this is a channel for personal growth where I kind of talk about things that are going to help you become a better version of yourself or even the best version of yourself that you can be right now. If you follow me on Instagram, you would know that I was away for 10 days and I did the Vipassana um, 10 day course. And if you just subscribe to me on YouTube and you don't follow me on Instagram, you might not know that I was away for 10 days, but I'm back now. I got back yesterday. I got out of the course yesterday. It was actually a silent retreat. So I didn't actually speak for 10 days. Uh, I didn't really have like human interaction or anything like that. So I'm still kind of coming out of that and I feel like I'm a little bit awkward but just bear with me my energy is not too high in this video i just came out of a pretty intense 10 day meditation i did about 100 hours of meditation let me get started on telling you guys my experience i'm gonna try to kind of explain my experience the best that i can but i'm kind of struggling a little bit with how to put it into words because I only got out yesterday so I kind of feel like um, I'll be able to explain it a little bit better in a few weeks once I've kind of implemented the technique into my day-to-day -day life someone asked me how did I feel before the course and leading up to the course and to be completely honest I actually felt a lot of anxiety um, in the week coming up before the course I was just a little bit fearful like I just didn't know what to expect I knew a few people who have done the course before like I said my dad's done it a few of my friends have done it and I've met like people just kind of in this community who have done it and everyone's just had a completely different experience so I guess I was just a little bit anxious about like what my experience would, was going to be like so I knew deep inside that I have peace inside me and that I have a strong mind and that you know, I'm kind of on this path. But in the week coming up, I was like, I don't know, am I actually peaceful? Like, what if I go in there and start freaking out and all this shit comes up, you know? I hear stories of like people crying every day and freaking out and like wanting to leave every single day. I just wasn't sure. I'm like, you know, am I actually peaceful? Or, you know, I just, I just didn't know. On the drive to Vipassana, I was like, <laughs> freaking out i'm like oh my god i'm gonna be there for 10 days so yeah i was pretty anxious um for the week coming up to the past no, before that i was like whatever i was pretty keen like i've been wanting to do this course for ages ever since i found out about it at the end of last year i found out about it and i was trying to book it from that and originally i was meant to be doing it in india actually on those exact same dates but i had to change my india dates around and ended up that i was doing it in the blue mountain i was actually really excited for months and months and months to do it once i was there i had to hand in my my phone and once I handed in my phone I was like that's it like done I'm out I'm fully off grid now here for 10 days but once I handed my phone in actually kind of all the anxiety just went away and I was like all right I'm here now so we went to the meditation hall and that's when the silence was broken and then from that point on we came out of the hall and I was like damn you're walking next to people and like in the bathroom and like brushing your teeth like next to someone and sitting across people eating and but you, you can't say anything and you can't make eye contact it was pretty crazy just completely different to anything you've like really ever experienced actually didn't feel any sense of anxiety or fear or any like negative feelings for well, the first seven days i was like totally in buddha mode loving it like every second just making the most of all of it just you know going to every sitting and just eating mindfully and enjoying my sleep and enjoying my walks and just like super into it and I was like man I'm good at this I don't feel sad at all like I don't feel like crying and then I went to the teacher and I was like am I meant to be sad and stuff because you know I hear stories of people coming here and like crying like I want to cry like, I feel like it'd be cool to cry you know let something out let something deep inside out but nothing kind of came up and I was like okay well I was like that for the first seven days she loved the fact that it was silent and the no I contact thing i really liked just being to myself and not like feeling obliged to make conversation and look people in the eye and make gestures and stuff every time go anchor would talk and he would give us new bits of information and like a new part of the technique i'll be like yes really ingesting everything that was given to me really absorbing all of the information i was really understanding the technique and just really loving everything about the whole course i was in full like buddha mode <laughs> yeah 
I just made the most of my time there. If it was meditation time, I was meditating. I knew that I was there to learn the technique. I wasn't there to mess around or anything. This is the path that I kind of want to follow with this whole like self-discovery thing and self-development and stuff. So I thought, well, I'm here for 10 days. May as well make the most of it and just try and get as much information out of it as possible and just fully implement it. And the entire teaching of Vipassana is like impermanence, right? So I kind of mentioned that before. So of course my high kind of had to come to an end. So on the seventh day, that's when I had my kind of not, I wouldn't say bad, but like not as good experience as every other day so yeah i started getting a bit frustrated on day seven just because of the pain in my body for the first seven days i could sit for the hour without moving like even if i had a lot of pain i was experiencing a lot of pain throughout the whole thing but i could sit there for the whole hour without moving and then on the seventh day the pain was just so unbearable that i had to move from this point on it was kind of like downward spiral during the meditations once i moved i was starting to make myself feel like shit because I moved because I moved then that meant that I was reacting to the pain so I went to see the teacher about it and I just told her hey I'm like making myself feel really bad for moving and I don't know what to do that's not kind of what rates the success of the meditation it's not about moving or not moving really it's just about remaining equanimous if you're making yourself feel bad about moving then you're just going against the whole technique so I kind of like battled with that in day eight and nine just like going in and out of that and I was like yeah I'm good no I'm bad yeah I'm good no I'm bad yeah I'm good no I'm bad the the beautiful thing about the technique is that it teaches you to have an understanding of impermanence you kind of know that those times where you move or don't move that's like an impermanent thing as well you can't have a, a, any attachment towards moving or not moving all of it's impermanent and that kind of became very obvious to me throughout the course because I went seven days with feeling good about all the meditations and the last few days I wasn't feeling so good so I was like ah permanent makes sense i truly believe that i learned the technique on like such a deep experiential level battling with, with myself in those past few days just kind of further proved to me the technique it just makes sense i feel bad for moving i suffer i don't make myself feel bad for moving i don't add more suffering and if i don't move and i don't react to anything i'm actually like stripping away past layers of suffering like i said i'm still trying to put my own experience into words and it's really kind of hard to explain explain what I went through so I definitely plan on making another video in the next few weeks but all in all I absolutely endured my experience I feel like I was absolutely in my element I got a little taste of that kind of simple monk life and I loved it so much and yeah I'm so eager to keep learning and keep experimenting with the technique every single day and like implementing it into my day-to-day -day life also I can't tell you how vivid my dreams were every single night every single night I had so such vivid dreams like the craziest dreams every morning when I woke up for the whole day I could remember every dream I could remember it like I actually experienced it they weren't like lucid dreams or anything but they were just like really vivid dreams and because I could remember them so well and so many other people had the exact same experience as me with dreams like pretty much everyone I spoke to so that they could remember their dreams so well the next day which is pretty crazy also I just want to say that I don't want you guys to think that I had a great experience because I was already kind of in to like meditation and self-development and you know I was already meditating before and all that kind of stuff I don't want to scare you off and for you to think that you won't have a good experience just because you don't meditate most of the people who sat the course had never meditated a day in their lives and they came out and they felt so liberated it really doesn't matter what your past is like where you come from or what religion you're from or anything literally anything like anyone can go and sit the course and you will see benefits from it because it's such a beautiful thing Thing. and the technique it just works like it it just makes sense you know when you listen to something you're like yeah like that makes sense and even if you struggle with it like the fact that you sat there for 10 days without a phone without talking like just completely different to your day-to-day -day life that's enough like that's something that you're gonna take with you that's liberating in itself the power of our minds is so strong and you definitely see this throughout the course no one is going to help you no supernatural being or 
supernatural god or divine being or anything is going to help you is going to send you light and send you love you are truly the only person who can bring peace to your life and the only way to do that is to do the work to connect with your mind and body and to learn it on an experiential level the power is in you the power has always been in you and it's up to you to unlock it and make it shine so do i recommend doing the pasana 100 billion percent yes i think everyone should do it i think everyone should give it a shot just before i go i wanted to tell you guys just a little interesting story about not my experience but one of the girls who was actually sleep sleeping in my room she was about across from me like a few beds down she had an insane experience and i'll just tell you guys about it when she told me about it i was like are you freaking serious like what the hell basically she wears glasses like me and she's been wearing glasses like for years and years same as me her eyesight was um plus 3.5 so my eyesight's negative 6.5 so hers is plus which is like different so my eyes are like i can see close but i can't see far so I think hers is like she can see far but she can't see close or something like that. But basically, so she said, and obviously I didn't find out about this until after the course because we couldn't talk to each other during the course. During her meditations, she could feel like different parts of her body like releasing tension and kind of opening up. And a lot of people said they had experiences like this where like areas where they had lots of pain and stuff they could feel it kind of like dissolving and like just opening up and just releasing like a lot of tension so she said she kind of felt that a lot in her body and one particular place she felt it was like in her head she said she felt like these really sharp pains in her head and because she remained equanimous throughout the meditation and she didn't react to it with any like craving with any aversion nothing she felt it really release tension there and once she opened her eyes and she wasn't wearing her glasses or contact her eyes started going in and out of like her bad eyesight to like perfect eyesight so she was going in and out and in and out kind of kept kind of working around this area and releasing tension all over her body and by the end of the course she didn't need her glasses or contacts she could see perfectly what the hell is that that's just crazy and the thing is that goenka talks about all these different people's experiences and what they got from it and whatnot but seeing that happen to her she was in my room and her actually telling me and i could see her there without the glasses she even drove me to the train station later with no glasses on i was like what the hell man that's freaking crazy it just goes to show you like the power of your mind is so strong we have no idea what we can unlock what we can do with our body yeah i just wanted to share that with you guys quickly so that's about it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed give it a thumbs up if you did subscribe if you haven't already i would really appreciate it and yeah look forward for my india videos i'm leaving for india on friday so in four days so keep an eye out for that and yes bye